BanjoBenClark.com. I am Banjo Ben, your host here on the website that teaches you how to play guitar, uh, banjo. <laughs> and this week is Mandolin Week. Last week we did this song on guitar. I had a lot of uh, feedback from you, especially through my Facebook page, saying I'd love to see it on mandolin. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do three different solos. First, actually, we're going to learn just the basic melody. Then we're going to do kind of this Carter style on the mandolin, where we introduce some strums and begin to accompany ourselves. Then we'll look at a cool cross-picking version, and then just go up an octave, bring in some other licks, give you a chance to kind of spread out your wings a little bit. If you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube here in a moment, you'll have an opportunity to come over to my website, banjobenclark.com. You can see this lesson, 30-minute lesson, many others, hundreds more. But this lesson has the video instruction, but it also has the tabs exactly like I've played it and three different speeds of MP3 jam tracks that you can use there to practice along, get up to speed. Let's jump right into Red River Valley in the key of C on the mandolin. Hey y'all, let's learn Red River Valley. We're gonna learn on the mandolin in the key of C, and I'm going to teach you three different solos. Um, but first we're gonna spend a little time just getting to know the basic melody so that we can keep that in mind. Uh, the key of C makes it, it's a good key to learn it in because it's a good one to sing it in. And it also affords us to use a lot of these open strings. And the first solo I'm going to teach you is kind of that Carter style solo where we play the melody and then some strumming. Then we're going to get into some cross picking. And then we're going to move up an octave and kind of spread our uh, arms out a little bit, if you will. Let's go ahead and throw up this first line of tab. And let's just take a look at this basic melody just to get it implanted in the membrane. And uh, that way we can keep it in mind as we go. You'll notice I have the little words beneath each one of the notes. And our pick stroke directions. All these are down arrows. We're going to use all down strokes in this basic melody because we're playing on down beats. Later on, we will definitely want to pay attention as we get into that cross picking. Now this one comes in on the uh, third beat of the measure with those little pickup notes. Then comes sit. So if you're counting it in, you go like this. One, two, then comes sit. And when you land there on that sit, you're landing on an E note. And if you want, go ahead and make that open C chord shape. That's the second fret there and the third fret on the A string. Because that's what we're gonna do in the first solo that we learned. So sit, and that's a half note, gets two beats. One, two, by my side, two, if you love me. When you go back to that me, um, you can place that ring finger down there. Go ahead and put your index finger back on that E note to kill that D note so that it's not ringing out. Because then it's going to have a little bit of dissonance there that you don't want. Let me just play through this line for you. One, two, then come sit by my side if you love me. Pretty cool. Let's look at the next line. We have um, some of the same feel going on here. We have the same picking notes. One, two, do not hasten to. And you never have to raise your, your ring finger off of here. Do not hasten to. Until you get to bid, bring it up. I'm still keeping my C chord shape down. Bid me adieu. When we get to do, we're over a G chord. I'm just going to let everything hang out. Okay, you don't have to put any fingers down. If you want, go ahead and move that C chord shape up one fret. That will be our G shape that we're going to use. We get to measure 10. Just remember, you can go back to that C shape if you want. Remember the Red River Valley. Okay, 
Then we're going to land on that second beat again for the um, melody note. Valley. The F chord shape that we're going to use, first fret up here, third fret here, fifth fret down here. Fourteen. And the cowboy that's love is so true. Back to that C chord shape. Okay, now that we have that down, let's look at our first solo, because here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep that exact same melody going forward. Okay, the exact same melody is there. And if you're watching this on the side as a Gold Pick member, go ahead and download this tab, and you can compare back and look. And you can see that measure 18 here is the same as measure 2. Measure 19 is the same as measure 3 in the song. And you're going to sing all, see all those same melody notes. What we're going to do now is introduce a little bit of our own accompaniment with this. So, so we're going to turn the, the mandolin into a solo instrument and in that we could accompany ourselves with mandolin alone, uh, which, is, which is pretty fun to do. Sometimes we're asked to do that. We don't know how to do it. You could do it here. Then come sit. So we're going to do everything the same there. And I want you to be in that C chord shape. And on the second beat, instead of just letting the, that sit ring through, we're going to do a down up strum. Now with that strum, I want you to make your wrist loose. We're not going to do it with our whole arm. And we want to hold the pick loosely in our hand. And we don't want that strum to overpower the rest of our notes. We still want our melody to ring out. Then come sit. And then come right back to that second fret for by my side. This is also really going to work on your pick accuracy. Then come sit by my side. Same thing in 20. Side if you love me. When you go back to love me on me, I want you to have that C chord down and add that ring finger. And then what we're going to do, because of the weird timing of that melody, we're going to come in on an up strum in 21 on the and of three. So let me count this out and you can hear it. Love me, three and four and, one and two and three and four and. If that's too difficult for you, you can just do another, just a, a regular strum on the last beat. Love me. We're just keeping that motion going. It helps fill in this space. Let me play this line for you a little slower. We'll do it much slower later on together. One, two, then come sit by my side if you love me. Three and four and one. We get to 22. We'll land there. Just we're filling up space. Do not hate. Leave that ring finger down. Hey. And then we're going to strum. You'll notice in that strum on the second beat of 23, I only strum through the, the first three strings. 